Imagine a world where writing a novel, coding a website, or even answering customer queries is done not by humans, but by AI. This world isn't far off. Generative AI is making strides, but what does this mean for jobs as we know them? If you're one of these jobs that I talk about in this video, make sure you stick around until the end because I might have a solution for you. Let's do this. Hey everyone, and welcome to Taking It Offline. First, let's understand what generative AI is. Unlike traditional AI, which analyzes data and provides responses based on existing information, Gen AI can create new content, from art and music to code and beyond. So we're gonna discuss five jobs at risk because of AI. But before we do that, I wanna talk about some history. You guys might know that throughout history, every time a new technology comes around, people worry it might take away their jobs and people get scared. So I don't want you guys to be scared of AI. I want you to learn from these examples. During the industrial revolution, when machines first came into factories, a lot of people were worried. They thought machines would replace all of their jobs. But what actually ended up happening? It's actually quite interesting. New kinds of jobs were created for running those machines, creating those machines, and more products could be uh, made faster than ever. So people learn to work with machines, leading to even more jobs in industries that didn't even exist before. When computers and the internet showed up, at first, it was like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. These things are faster than us, they're faster than humans, we don't know how we're gonna work with this. But in fact, people actually started working in tech, creating websites, protecting online data, doing so many different things. So there, these were jobs that people didn't even think about before. And then the last example is ATMs and bank tellers. People thought that when ATMs came out, banks wouldn't need as many tellers. But instead, the crazy fact is that banks started opening more branches because ATMs made things cheaper and easier. So they actually needed more people to help with other banking needs, like helping customers and giving financial advice. These stories show us that when new tech comes along, it doesn't just take away old jobs. It usually ends up creating different ones that we hadn't even imagined. So I just want you guys to open up your imagination. The trick is to learn how to use the new tech and find out what new things we can do with it. So we're gonna look at these five roles and jobs that are at high risk and what you can do to adapt rather than run from AI. As generative AI becomes more sophisticated, certain roles face the risk of automation. So here's a close, closer look at all five of them. One is customer service representatives. Now, chatbots powered by generative AI can handle inquiries with a level of empathy and efficiency previously unique to humans. This automation could help replace functions of customer service representatives. So the trick is to upskill and specialize in complex customer service scenarios that require deep empathy, critical thinking, and human judgment. This can help safeguard these jobs. Also, training in AI oversight and ethical considerations can also create new roles within the same field. Two is data entry clerks. AI can process and organize large data sets faster with fewer errors than humans, making traditional roles of data entry clerks less necessary. The solution is clerks can pivot to data management and analytics, focusing on interpreting data results and overseeing AI operations for accuracy and integrity. See, learning to manage AI systems for data analysis can add value beyond just simple data entry. Three is content creators, writers, and uh, graphic designers. Generative AI's ability to produce original content from writing articles to designing graphics challenges the unique creative skills of human writers and designers. The solution is emphasizing creative strategy, concept development, and brand storytelling. This can keep human creators relevant. AI tools can become assistants rather than replacements, with professionals focusing on overseeing creative direction and integrating human insights with AI cap capabilities. Four is retail workers. Automation in retail from AI powered checkouts to inventory management threatens traditional retail jobs. So what can they do? 
Transitioning into roles that focus on the customer experience, personal shopping, and retail technology support can actually offer a lot more new opportunities. See, retail workers can also move into managing and maintaining AI systems. There is a huge demand for this. I have worked with retail clients, Fortune 100 ones, and trust me, there is a lot of opportunity here for you. And the last one is transportation and delivery drivers. Autonomous vehicles and drones are set to revolutionize delivery and transportation services, potentially displacing so many drivers. So drivers can look towards roles in remote vehicle operation, logistics planning, and fleet management. This will require human oversight, and additionally, specializing in drone technology and autonomous vehicle maintenance presents new career paths. Generative AI is undoubtedly transforming the job landscape, but it's not only a narrative of loss. See, by embracing change, seeking continuous education, and adopting new roles that AI technology creates, individuals like you and I can find exciting opportunities. See, in this evolving market, the key lies in leveraging AI as a tool to enhance human work, not replace it. See, I always like to use the example of calculators. When calculators were first invented, do you think mathematicians and accountants were like, oh my God, we're done, our jobs are over, what are we gonna do? No, in fact, they in ended up using calculators to help and enhance their jobs. They made their jobs more efficient. So use AI as a tool to enhance whatever job that you're in. And if you don't agree, or if you agree with everything that I've talked about today, leave me a comment below with your feedback and let me know what you think. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm taking it offline. This is Parth, signing off. Until next time.